Perfect. Now I have your number. Thanks. Hey, I'm Robbie Kramer. You're listening to the Leverage Podcast, where we discuss using your social skills to hack dating, travel, finding your dream job, and becoming a complete man. So we got Yoni back on. What's going many, on, brother? Uh, many guest appearance, uh, many mm-hmm. guest appearances. I think this is what our third or fourth podcast together. We've got a bunch of really good topics to discuss today, uh, including how to not get ripped off on dates. We're going to expose what we call the uh, Pepsi Dinamo, which is a a common sort of thing you might have encountered on Tinder. So that's that's to be probably have encountered on Tinder. Yeah, Uh, we're going to discuss breakups, um, what to do if your girlfriend starts asking for money, and uh, or an allowance. Uh, what else are we going to talk about? Uh, a lot of shit. So let's, 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 let's talk and then see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but where, where, where the hell are you, man? What's going on there in uh, Mexico City or whatever the fuck you are? Where are you? I'm in Tulum. Tulum. Playa yeah. del Carmen, technically. But right. for the How party people of the world. How is that treating you, the brother? Tulum region. Have you seen that meme that says uh, it's like world map and it's got a giant sign in the Western Hemisphere that says Tulum and a giant sign in the Eastern that says Dubai because it's basically the two places that are open for, for partying. Well, we party here like a motherfucker. <laughs> I, w- I wish we shut down here for a few days. Because... Legally open anyways. Huh? I mean, obviously, I, I know Kiev is the lockdown's finished, so... Well, it hasn't even during the lockdown. We we're still partying. Oh, of course. The club <laughs> with everybody. <laughs> but, but yeah, listen. Um, no, no. What are you? What are you planning to come back here? What's going on when the when the winter uh, is over? Like or what? April. You should, April. You should see the weather now. It's amazing. It's all white. Yeah. It's not cold because of the dry weather. It's amazing. You walk down the street, it's like you're in a fairy tale. It's oh, great. Nice uh, week of the winter. Uh, yeah, it's nice when it's snowing. It's always like yeah. fucking raining and shitty, though. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's been snowing now. Nice. Crispy nice. 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 It's a lot of fun. What's going on? What's going on with your uh, girlfriend? Are you guys still together? Yeah. Yeah. Things are good. Good. Good, good, good. Get married <laughs> My- very chill. <laughs> what happened with your girlfriend? Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm kind of embarrassed to even say. And if she sees this, it's gonna be kind of like bad, you know? Yeah. It's uh, it was terrible. It was terrible. She first of all, she started like, you know, at the beginning she was like, oh nice, nice to me, nice to my friends, blah blah. blah. And then she started being like this big, goddamn fucking dragon. <laughs> Don't go here, don't go there, don't speak to this. What the fuck are these girls doing here? <laughs> and then, and then, um, and then, yeah, and then she's like, Oh, you, you don't take care of me, you don't give me money. I'm like, Have you ever asked me for money? I shouldn't ask you for money, you should just <laughs> give it to me. I'm like, What do you mean? She's like, Yeah, you know, I'm pretty, so you should like give me, give me like every month, you should give me money. I'm like, What? I'm pretty too, nobody gives me money. <laughs> so then she's like yeah like look at this look at that i'm like are you kidding me? i'm like okay how much money do you want and then she's like well no you should say it you should give it i'm like what i'm like listen that's that's not my cup of tea you go get yourself a married dude with uh with children that needs to you know yeah he needs to get back to his wife after he bangs you and then he should pay you money i should like Right. You come to me and you say, I look like a sponsor to you. Yeah. Well, I look a little bit, but <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? She can come to me and say, "Listen, I'm I'm like I don't have enough for that, or like you know I'm I need this to get that, bro. I, you know you know me. I wouldn't eat myself, but I would give her money or to anybody of my friends or whatever if they need it. But automatically for me to pay. You know, for you to be with me, it's kind of fucking fucked up, man. I think that's that's kind of the norm, or at least 
what girls can pretend is the norm. No, 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 bro. No, 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 no. I, I mean, most, most girls, most hot girls in Kiev have some sort of sponsor, I think. And uh, of course, you know, they, they want their cake and eat it too. And uh, she likes that, you, that not case. because you're a sponsor. She likes then, you, of course. And then she also wants, yeah. she wants the cash. Let me tell you what happened. Let me tell mm -hmm. you what I suspect that happened. Yeah. What happened is she's hanging out with these girls that are half as pretty, half as smart, and whatever. So they're a little bit jealous. So these girls are like, what? Your boyfriend's not giving you money? At the same time, nobody is giving these bitches a fucking penny or fucking anything <laughs> for that matter. So they're like, oh, he's not giving you money. Look how he lives. Look how he fucking parties. He can party every weekend, but he cannot give you like whatever money. And they got her to, to uh, that's my opinion. I don't know. She never told me that. I never got, got to the bottom of it because it got like a little bit like, you know, turned off. Not a little bit, quite a bit. Um, and I, I believe that this is what happened. I think that these, these uh, you know, usually girlfriends are, are helping relationships and stuff. So I think these girls actually helped her relationship and, and like told her uh, thing because she was coming out with like with the weirdest stuff. Oh, even your friends are telling me that you're supposed to give me money. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, let's call all my friends right now. <laughs> let's ask all of them. Who the hell thinks that I need to pay money? I have to pay money. I, yes, I need to take care of her. Yes, I need to be, you know, like if something is missing or something is needed to be done, yeah, I'm I'm the man. I will I will love to do that, but for me to be some kind of a wallet or some kind of a thing that I automatically need to give her a, a salary um, every month. Oh yeah, and then and then another thing. I'm like, okay, so now look, so now you're saying all this like stuff, and you're like, oh, don't talk to her, don't talk to this, or I'm not comfortable with this. I'm like, all right, so if I pay you every month money, what does this say? Does it say that you can even come to me and say anything like this i'm paying you like you're my employee right you know right like, listen bitch i pay you x amount of money a month and then you're gonna still be telling me what to do who to do it with at what time to come back home and why they didn't fucking text you think about it for a second you know and sounds like, like a bad oh, deal it doesn't, work. it doesn't work like that it doesn't what do you mean it doesn't work yes it does that's exactly how it works now employees you manage them. Yeah. You know, relationships, you you are in it together. It's you against the world. It's not you, you pay me money, and then it's, it's you gotta take care of everything else. And I'll just be here. I'll just sit here and be pretty and and you know <laughs> and don't do fuck all. So yeah, yeah so that's that's, uh, that's uh kind of standard in my experience, unfortunately. Nah, bro, not even close, man. I think that. The dudes like like you especially, they see you as, as a dollar sign. <laughs> Me, only the stupid ones <laughs> have the have the I mean that's why that's why Maria's awesome is because she never fucks my brain with that shit, you know. Yeah. And she makes her own money. She doesn't yeah. have this entitled attitude. But all the other girls I've dated in Kiev, it's always been similar story to what you've said, right? Um, really? Yeah. This is the first one, actually. I'm sure a lot of them had that like, idea. It hasn't been the exact same thing. Like, you should give me an allowance sort of thing. But as time goes on, they start demanding more and more financially. And they start asking for more and more. Yet... That's fine. This yeah, I, I mean, that's, that's normal, but it's the... Um, you know, I, I don't know. It's, I, I think it's kind of the... One, one thing I've noticed that's, that's interesting about Kiev is there's no hot girls who work there. Like you don't see hot girls working in restaurants, right? They're not working at the clubs because they all have fucking sponsors. There's so many. Bro, first sponsors. of all, first of all, you 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 got you got used to the good life. The girls that work here at the restaurant and work here at the uh, at the uh, grocery store out there in Tulum, <laughs> they're. They're, they're standing right now on the on, at the DJ's fucking thing, and she's in the back in the backstage with the DJs and stuff like that. Come on, man. No, I'm talking about yeah, the super hot girls, the super hot girls that we want to date. Yeah, they don't usually work. They don't work. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, but, but, how many? This one was, was going to the university. 
And at the sure. same time, and I'm telling you, like, I don't mind it. I, 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 yeah, if she's I a student, that's fine. But I'm talking about like, you go to New York, you go to LA, you go to Paris, you, Milan, whatever. Like, a different life, like, of course, different life. because there's the, Aviv, the whole. Man, I haven't seen one girl in Tel Aviv that doesn't work. Man. Of Even a wife of a, of a multimillionaire's, they work because it's, it's, a, it's a culture. It's, it's right. a little bit different. The Ukrainian Kiev culture is hot girls come to Kiev. They get a sponsor. They get multiple sponsors. Where and... the hell do they find all these sponsors? I want one to do that. There's not enough guys to even fucking take well, it Well, that's the thing. Here. There's so many, you know, politicians and, and dudes who have like 10 girls in the payroll. You know? Yeah, that, that could that could be it. I had I had one like that. Yeah, I had one like that. She told me from the beginning. I thought naturally she's gonna leave him. She didn't, so I, I told her to fucking beat it. But but listen, most of the girls like, I've met in Kiev, like mm-hmm. fuck, like all of them. Uh, when when you dig deep and ask, there's some, you know, there's some sugar <laughs> there's daddy <some> skeletons. <laughs> there's always the sugar daddy. It's like, so how are you paying for your apartment? You don't have a job. <laughs> you, you don't do anything. You fucking smoke shisha every night. Um, where's that money coming? Oh, like it's either their parents or it's a sugar daddy. And it's usually the sugar daddy because, you know, there's not a lot of Ukraine. Well, you see, I mean, this one actually had a will of parents from what yeah. she says. I don't know. I didn't check it. She mm-hmm. was going to the university and I told her, listen, I will help you. And actually, I don't want to. I don't want to say the, the the amount that she said that she wants as an allowance every month because it's a little bit great. That that's actually the reason that that I got really turned off by her. It was it was a stupid amount, mm-hmm. and and you know her parents was you know at this at this crisis right now. I, I'm actually not making. I'm making like you know big deal here, a big deal there. So I, I get by fine. But she was making at the time when she said it. That month, she made more from from her parents sending her money than what I made from from my own, you know, from my own hustle. <laughs> and she's got the nerve. And I tell her, I'm like, listen, anything you need, yeah, you go to school, you 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 study, you 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 go to all these fucking nail places and hair places or whatever. Like, yeah, I would love to help you. I don't mind helping you, but not like this, not as a as a. I don't even know how to be. It's not a wallet because a wallet you come in and you take it as whatever you want. It's like it's like a it's like a empl- em- employer. Like that's it. Well, at employer. least the way I've dealt with it in the past was I've always just put my girls to work. Like, all right, you want extra money? You want to make money? Cool. Like, I'll give <laughs> you a job. <laughs> <laughs> not like that, of course. <laughs> I should clarify. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because because I put her up for work. It's yeah. like, uh, I didn't turn her out, but I put yeah. her out to work. <laughs> no, you know, I have them help me with marketing. I have them um, help me working with the clients, help them give fashion advice, give them feedback from a female perspective. Obviously, in, in my line of work with dating coaching, that's a pretty easy, you know, like any any cute girl can add value there so it's more about like do i see do i see them really trying or you know because then because then i can just be like all right you need extra money well i can work and if they don't work i'm like what well, why am i getting you money like you're not doing anything and there's typically with with the girls i've dated in kiev it's kind of been like that but that's that's been a decent solution um but if i, I didn't I'll have never, that i'll never work and be in a any kind of relationship at the same time because it's against my religion, can I say? My, my, my <laughs> against religion. Judaism? No, no, against my <laughs> business religion. Okay. Um, I would never let that fuck shit up right the fuck up. But I think I've it helped. can, but hold on, I'm your good. audio is bad again when you're when you're leaning away. It's yeah. okay, hold on. <clears throat> you need to be so, pretty close to this mic. Yeah. So I would find her a job easily because, you know, I'm, I'm well connected and I know a lot of people. So for me to find somebody a job, it's very easy. So I tell them, like, listen, you want a job, whatever, like on your conditions, you go work. Yeah, if, if she wants to work, usually like this one was, was you know, studying a lot and there's quarantine and stuff like that. So, so, so whatever, it, it, I didn't mind helping her, but not like that, not like an employee yeah. or employer. You know what I mean? So... So that's why, like, it, it just went fucked up. It was just, I don't know, it was some something wrong there. It's, it's not. So that was kind of like the, the 
first conversation that started the the snowball down the hill? Well, it started off with these uh, with this attitude. Uh, where are you going? When are you going back? Why are you not answering the phone? Why didn't you text me all day? It started off with that. And I was starting to get, you know, a little bit on the edge. But I said, okay, you know, like sometimes, yeah, you have to like, um, um, you know, how you call it, uh, sacrifice a little bit for, for this, even though I'm not like that. I knew it's not gonna, it's not gonna work for a long time. But um, it started with that. And then one thing and another thing and another thing and then and then this it came came down and I was like I was like all right this is bad this is not me I don't I don't like that I, I would never do that but we were kind of negotiating it and when she said that the, the amount I was like <sighs> I was like you know I would rather her say fifty thousand something like fucking like you know like something like crazy instead of saying something like low and I'm like what this is what he fucking this is what you argue with me about. I I would give you four times that if you just come and say I'm missing. You know I'm I don't have enough for this. I don't have enough for that. I need taxi money. I need you know whatever. But you like argue with me and you demand to get this as a salary. This is like a little bit made me like put a value to her and I'm like saying that this is stupid. Yeah. And um, so, did the um, how long after that conversation did you guys like officially? A couple of days. I just, it was just, I was she I, living with you? Yeah, she was living with me. That's the thing. She's living here. She never. She's never short of anything. Everything is. Here. Yeah, she's living Everything with you. She's got food, shelter, food, shelter, heating, all the parties. She can go parties. to. All Everything. the fucking Alcohol. whiskey she could drink. Yeah, anytime she wants to bring her. To the tits yeah, every time the... she wants to bring her friends over, no problem. I buy him some pain. You know, like she's not missing anything, nothing, zero. But she needs a. She needs a bag and some shoes and some Jimmy Choo. Uh, she had she Jimmy had Choo, had Choo, iPhone, had Choo. She had it all. <laughs> And actually, her I, I ducked a big one. <laughs> it was her birthday coming up. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, and I'm like, I'll never forget it. We were partying with some dudes and their girlfriends. And then and then she's like, she's like on the couch, kind of sleepy, right? So I'm like sitting there. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew bro, I'm, <laughs> I'm not an idiot. I knew she's listening, right? So I'm talking to my friend and his girlfriend. And I'm like, hey, guys, you know, her birthday's coming up. What should I buy her? And then there's this, this discussion there. <laughs> and my friend, the girl, she's like, well, buy her perfume. <laughs> I'm like, oh, like this, yes. I didn't say anything. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and then we're like talking with this and that. I'm like, and we're like, you know, debating or what, what to buy this and that. All of a sudden, she gets up. <laughs> she gets up like a... She's like, fuck you, you buy yourself fucking perfume. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. So that, I got my it, girlfriend perfume for her birthday. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Dude, especially the first birthday, especially the why not? Why the fuck am I supposed to fucking go? Or like I, mean, I got her some other shit too, but perfume was part of the I, I would the oh also we, we spoke about um um what do you call those? Uh, no, the ones that you go and cash them for, for presents. Gift certificates? Gift certificates, yeah. We spoke about that and this. She's like, fuck. I, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, what is she expecting? Like an LV fucking bag or what? Like we, we, we fucking dated, we hung out for a month and dated mm -hmm. for another one. You've been living here for, for two weeks. <laughs> you want an LV? Like it's fucking hard times outside. <laughs> like what? What do you want? <laughs> nah, it was it was it was it was terrible. But I think also this. I think she just got into like this mode of like, of like the, these girls are like girlfriends are like, you know, recommending her what to do and and like doing all yeah. this uh, all this uh, stupid stuff. And I think she was she was really she's not a bad girl. She's really a good girl, but she's. 
she lost the way so work and too bad oh and then then she made her lips she had beautiful lips i'm coming home right after this fucking thing she makes her lips fucking sitting there like this <laughs> i'm like i'm like what are you doing i'm like listen you have beautiful lips why the fuck are you doing this oh and this is what broke the the whole thing she's like listen to this she's like i made this because my lips were dry and when you do this the lips are getting <laughs> getting moist again i'm like you motherfucker listen you can do this you can do it. but treat me like an idiot saying that yeah. you know and, 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 and you it's know just chapstick permanent chapstick yeah like fuck like don't lie to me like say yeah i was insecure i did my lips because me and you are fighting so i wanted to feel good even though she feels she looks like a goddamn fucking i don't know i don't even know how they look when they do that she like like looks like sitting there like right? <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> i think uh i think a lot of it as you said is a function of her environment her friends and yeah. kind of the standard you know the standard in kiev is get your lips done find a sugar daddy don't yeah. work go to <laughs> go to Avalon every night, smoke a $50 shisha, you know, get a bag. It's uh it's that sort of culture. I mean, yeah. it's, you know. So, uh it well, can be this is, this is the, this it is, can be a this, little bit um this this culture exists everywhere, bro. Come on. Of Israel course. I think it's New York have it's that. a little bit, of course. It it's just a little bit less um on display maybe in those other like those other yeah, it's more in the open yeah here it's more yeah. in the open there, there's no shame in kiev in those other cities there's a little bit of shame around it you know it's a little because it is what it is right it's it's uh it's a transaction it's a transactional relationship and i think there's because those cities are more metropolitan more western it's looked down upon women to be so transactional and guys of course but in kiev it's like no this is this is how it is, you know? It's very raw and and they honest. They have much choice in a way in a sense. Also they have these they have these girls that teach them how to do it on YouTube and shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I mean there's no shame. It's it's more of the Soviet culture, post-Soviet culture, I think. Um, yeah. you know, growing up in or not growing up but poor, you know, countries, of course. They're not even poor yet. They think they're poor, man. Of course, they think you can go to fucking poor. India. Be right. cool, man. <laughs> You know? Second world. Yeah, Second yeah world. like like god damn it, they think they're four years. It's oh. always interesting for western guys coming to Ukraine um to watch how they handle it because it's it's kind of a stark contrast between the girls are typically used to. Um like I had a couple German clients and when they came over at first, you know, it's for them and these these guys are recent university graduates women demand to pay for dates um hate when you know hate when guys like offer to buy things hate being you know showered with gifts and that sort of thing like they get offended if they, a lot of the time germany's obviously on the other end of the spectrum like you know to the, the complete other end of the spectrum but watching those guys how they how they they need to learn to to find that middle ground can be really difficult. Hold on, hold on. Do you, do you know this 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 approach when you say, "Hey, um, oh, I you shouldn't have, oh, you shouldn't, oh, why did you do this? It's too much. It's too this." But this is just a way of saying, like, you know, like, like I feel uncomfortable, you know, but still give it to me, kind of thing. Give me more, I yeah. That. I believe that a lot of this western western approach is like that sure and then, and then and then to see and basically because the girls there obviously don't don't really need these uh, drinks and whatever they can afford to themselves to to filter these guys that when when she says oh I want to pay and he says okay you pay I don't think there's going to be a second day bro you know what I mean like I, I, what they've told me from what they've told me that's very normal and common um i've never seen it. i I, a, I, could, i could i couldn't do it myself even like i a, couldn't do it either i mean it's a total gender reversal you know yeah, gender role reversal I, I, i think i think from, it's a, from that's what i've heard from what i've heard from scandinavian countries germany um 
you know, that's getting to be the, the norm. Iceland, I guess that's part of, no, that's not part of Scandinavia. I've, I've heard that too. I've never seen that. I've never seen a guy, I've never met guys from Scandinavia or whatever, or Holland. I heard that this is in Holland. It's like a big thing. I've dated yeah. girls in Holland. I've never seen that happen. I think it's with the younger, younger university student type maybe, age. Yeah, maybe when they actually like don't have money as, as a student, so they, they it's like a common thing. But but if a guy is trying to to uh, um, you know like to to meet a girl and like to to get yeah. over there, I don't think she would like even if she wants to bang him right after this meal. I, I don't think if she if he if he let her pay, I don't think she'll be turned on to go and 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 you know like have. Yeah, I agree. I think. I, I I think as a guy, if you're trying to navigate the situation, you should, if you ask a girl out on a date, you should pay. And if she asks you out, you should still pay. You should still yeah. offer, of course. Yeah. If she insists. I, can, I like the know. girls that take out the wallet, kind of like. Right. Never hey, let me get this. Nah, it's a nice yeah, gesture. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, don't worry about that. That happens in Canada sometimes, you know what I mean? But yeah, but here sure. I've never seen that. Well, I've, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Not... Mm, not not much, but I've seen it. Yeah. But um, but these guys, when they come here, you know what their biggest thing that I find is their biggest thing is that they they don't want to be ripped off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have actually mutual friends that that are killing me, man, are killing me. Like I'm like, dude, he's like, oh, I just don't want the girl to rip me off. I'm like, how is she gonna rip you off? They might well, rip you off for like thirty or forty dollars, and it's like, who yeah. cares? If we go to a, to dinner and she gets paid, you know how they have these cashback right. systems that I also have. Pepsi, Pepsi yeah. cashback. Yeah, uh, Pepsi, yeah, but <laughs> but this great. is what I ask, I I asked yeah. them. Like, Listen, you gotta go there anyways. You gotta get get. You gotta eat anyways. Yeah, you gotta pay the same money anyways. If she starts loading up lobs, lobsters and stuff like that, yeah, okay. But they don't. They right. just they just. Get cash back on whatever you guys ate. So how? Let's this explain this up? to the guys listening because it's fucking hilarious. So we, we have this mutual friend. Her name's Pepsi. We call her that because she likes the uh, the Coca Cola. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> she couldn't just say in her Instagram Coke. <laughs> she just calls it Pepsi. <laughs> Pepsi. <laughs> and um, at one point, I asked her. I'm like, so. How do you make money? And she's like, I go on Tinder dates. What? You get paid to go on Tinder dates? Yeah, well, I meet a guy on Tinder. I'm hot, so he wants to take me out. I suggest a, a few different restaurants. I insist on those restaurants. We go to, to eat, and I get, what is it, 20% of the, the check at the end? Of course. It depends on the restaurant. depends on the, on the, on the setup. It depends on right. a lot of things. Yeah. So he doesn't know. Um, she gets a free meal and she gets paid. So she's like, that's what I do. I go on like, you know, five or six dates a week and not bad. I'm like, huh. All and right. It's, it's a very win-win for everybody. I, I, I got to respect the hustle, you know, the, her entrepreneurial spirit. <laughs> entrepreneurial, <laughs> entrepreneurial, it's not. However. <laughs> hustle it is, I guess. Hustle it is. Yeah. Now, now let, let me ask you, okay? Now, uh, the, for the restaurant, it's, the, it's an obvious uh, uh you know, it's an obvious uh, uh, what he gains from it. For the girl, it's also obvious what she gains from it. But let me tell you, about, let, let me ask you about these guys, okay? This guy that comes from Germany or comes from England or comes from Switzerland or whatever. To have a meal there, to sit down and chat and have a little bit of side with a beer, you know, peanuts and stuff like that. That's a hundred bucks, okay? Not including the taxis, the, the the whatever, the whatever. So you come and and with girls that could, you know, that that here the girls here they could never even dream about going to a, a dinner with a girl like that back in their home. So this guy comes here, you know, goes out on a meal, very good meal, for not much money at all. What is it? A hundred bucks if you went over. You went crazy. Bucks. Drinks, 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 food, everything. Food, you everything. can go crazy for a hundred bucks. With a beautiful girl in front of you. Yeah. Taxi is gonna cost you another what? Five bucks back and forth. Maximum. Maximum. Yeah, back and so forth. Too, how too, too, the hell are you getting ripped off, buddy? I know. Even if she even if she didn't fucking, you know, 
jumped on her knees and started fucking sucking you off under the table, you're not getting ripped off. You're actually way ahead. Totally. But that they're is. comparing it to what they could have, right? Or, or no, she was just doing it to make some money, blah, blah, blah. It's well, like... They could have. They could have went online and, and ordered prostitutes for $150. That's yes. But they wouldn't that's get the, the meal. Only, that's the only way that they guarantee them to, to get laid here. Right. You know? That's a guarantee. Yeah, you can go hang out. You can go to a club. You can meet girls. You can get laid. You can do whatever. It can be amazing. But usually, from my experience, the guys that have a problem of paying for a girl at a restaurant, <laughs> you know, their chances to begin with to get laid are usually online with the, uh, with the professionals. Right. Yeah, I think the only guys who are complaining and or are worried about getting ripped off are the ones who don't get laid in the first place. Do you agree? I agree. I agree with that. But this is all goes hand in hand. All these things, people, people you cannot divide, you cannot separate them. If you have this kind of approach, oh, I'm getting ripped off by this girl because she's having, she's eating on my tab and I'm paying. This is already an approach that you're going to have a real hard time getting laid in any other situation because your, your approach to women, your approach to life and your approach, how to, how you speak to women and how you court the, you know, basically put them together or like pick them up. There's already an issue. You already, you go in, you're going in it already scared that she's going to rip you off, that she's going to think. Even yeah. if, you, if you try to hide it, your body language still speaks like that. You still are acting like, you know, not natural, like you're looking for some signs, you're looking for a thing. And usually when you look for it, it's going to happen. You'll find it. Self You'll find it prophecy. and it's going to happen. So, so if, they, like us, we go in... You know, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. These are the best dates. These are the, ba the best parties. These are the best things. Just go with the flow. Feel comfortable. Feel like, you know, like yourself. And everybody around you is going to feel that. And is going to get, um, um, they're going to get on your vibe also. But yeah. if you always looking of who's going to rip me off, how they're going to rip me off. You know, what's the plan? What's the this? What's that? Then then you 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 radiate this outside of you. And people don't like yeah. being around people. Not only girls, also guys don't like to be around people. Girls hate that. The, uh, and I, I meet so many of those guys through my career. And it's so unattractive. And it's so hard to get them to stop doing that. It's like this fucking programming that takes so much they don't want to be ripped off, but they're missing out on so much of their life. It's ridiculous. And they're doing that with everything. Everywhere they go, everyone they meet, there's, it's this, yeah. this fear of nothing. It's like, you might get ripped off. And what? Well, I've been ripped off. No. I actually, <laughs> I think I've been ripped off by Pepsi initially <laughs> when, I was, when I was a tourist here. I, I yeah. started, this, is, this is an amazing story. Not Pepsi. I think it's her friend. She had a friend that's like, 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 a, <laughs> she was like a, like, <laughs> she was a tiger. <laughs> yeah. I think they, they both of them put me together and they ordered some steaks at the club. It was at the Chi Club back then. And they, and I said, Oh, hey, I kind of know you guys. Come join our table. And she, they sat down and started eating steaks. They ate steaks for 2000, you know, 2000 grivna, which is less than 100 bucks. Yeah. The whole table was to begin with like about 16,000 that we hang out, our friends and stuff like that. I knew there were, there were 16, you know, what, like uh, 500, 600 bucks. 500 bucks. Yeah. yeah. 500 bucks is between mm -hmm. the boys and, and they added another 80 bucks to the, to the whole fucking thing. So, right. you know, so we got, you know, whatever, you know, it, I, I, I look at it. I, I see that the, that's what they're doing because they were eating so fast <laughs> to, to get it in. Right. And for me, it's just funny, you know, like, you know, I, I can see these people that, that are really like worried about that being, Oh my God, she just ate a steak and like she did it. On, so what? And what it costs every guy at the table, $7. Yeah. So what? And you've got two beautiful girls there who are going to yeah. attract more girls who you might 
end up hooking up with at some point like who fucking cares and the price <laughs> it's worth it yeah my god yeah what of all these things why not i think at that Take time dinners. i had a- <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's 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 a win. At a worst case scenario, you fed a girl that doesn't make much money. You fed her a steak. This is at worst case scenario. You did a huge charity, like yeah, like you did a good deed. Mother so Teresa. Yeah, well, not Mother Teresa, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Why not feeding people? Like why not? This is this is like you know the most basic you know good thing you can do. So what? Yeah. She was very hungry. Obviously, she was very hungry because she was eating that steak like boo, boo, boo. <laughs> like she was a Pepsi. <laughs> but but then what happened? Yeah, yeah I mean, if I a- like knowing knowing the the Tinder you know scam, if we want to call it the Pepsi the Pepsi challenge, we should call it. Um, if you I, I, call, the old I, call it I call it the Uber the Uber of Uber. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or she calls it she calls it the Dinamo. Dinamo, or, uh, or maybe Dinamo. you and I called it the, the Pepsi Dinamo. Um, yeah. So even like if I was a single guy on Tinder and I and I was like, oh, this girl's trying to Pepsi Dinamo me. I'm like, cool, let's do it. Like, I don't yeah, mind. Let's do it. I'm bored. I'm sitting here alone by myself. Nothing to do. I'm usually a tourist. Yeah, because I don't go on Tinder. But usually I'm a tourist. I'm sitting there because I obviously got nothing to do. Fuck. Go yeah. on the date. Spend and then at the end. Bucks. And, and then at the happened. end, when when the bill comes and you can be like, all right, here's the thing. So let's see, you're making what, 20% from this? Well, let me give you an extra tip. Here's an extra 20%. Where are we going next? Right? And now, now, like, that girl's going to love you. I wouldn't put it like that. But I always like to see where, where things are going. On it, I, I honestly, when I was just she might not love you she'll respect you that's for sure i don't know i would be embarrassed to say that i don't know maybe maybe she would but i would be embarrassed to like to like expose her uh <laughs> expose her uh strategy when i was when i was i'd love to I, do that i'd love to see the look on her face yeah, I w- when i was coming here as a tourist and then at the beginning when i didn't really know the whole uh you know, the the, 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 the the whole behind the scenes of this whole game. I used to just like, I would be sitting at home bored and I used to be like, oh, this girl is like, I know this is like a, <laughs> some kind of a dinamo. Let's let's try it out. Let's see how she <laughs> does it. <laughs> yeah, let's see her dinamo style. Yeah, this is, this is, it's a, bro, like a hundred bucks. Okay, you know. I mean, uh one of my buddies actually set up a dating app to do just that. It was called, uh, it's just dinner or, or only dinner or something. Um, I don't think he ever saw it through, but essentially it was a dating app where, you know, girls go on there and guys offer to pay and restaurants are, are included in the deal. Well, restaurant gets a cut. And uh, planning, First of all, we have this already as a, as a cashback service with girls. Right. I have to say here on 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 uh, in uh, uh, on video, we don't promote girls ripping guys off. No, but sure. it's a, it's a tool that we give to girls that she wants to go, and you know, she's gonna go out on a date anyways. She he's gonna go on a, on this date anyways. Might as well, you know, you know, might as well get get something from it. I actually have my friends that go with their girlfriends, and their girlfriends get cash back from 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 my. Uh, um, uh, from my uh, uh, services. Yeah, I'm gonna start so doing it when it I come back to Kiev with my girlfriend. Yeah, so just uh, <laughs> just take it easy. But um, but actually, we, we were thinking of doing that in Just Book our uh, um, booking online of tables of the things. We sh- we we were thinking of doing like a like a side thing on there to uh, to actually like date a dating uh, registration for for a thing. So this is it, it's it's fun, but it's a little it becomes a little bit more a little bit prostitutey kind of thing. You know what I mean? When you yeah. when you connect, because in my cashback service we do only that we do cashback. You as a guy can go do that. She's as a girl can do that. We don't promote this thing, and then you know never you never know what you know some some crazy guy or some crazy girl. You know never know what happens. Right. It could be a little bit uh, 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 tricky. For sure. Well, cool, man. Uh, lots of good updates. Sorry to yeah, hear about that. The was, that was, a, that was a fun not one. Sorry. <laughs> a breezy, easy, breezy one. Yeah. Fun one. It's always a pleasure to, to have a chat with you on, 
on things that we mainly agree on and things that actually can help a lot of the guys if they listen to this can help them a lot i think uh, these are a lot of things that thing things that need to be discussed that probably aren't so hopefully the people listening feel the same yes yes that most of the people will never this will, will not discuss this we just don't give a fuck exactly. <laughs> we'll just talk about everything <laughs> Uh, wait for the wait for the for our next uh, podcast. Wait till you see what happens there. We'll talk about some fucking serious shit. <laughs> so for those of you guys who want to get in touch with Yoni, links are below. Hit them up. Instagram, probably the best way. And uh, Instagram talk to you guys later. Thanks for listening. If you want more, go to innerconfidence.com and don't forget to subscribe to this podcast for the latest episodes.